Hello everyone, welcome back in this third part of Ruler Tools. I'm Kisan and today I'll talk about one of the most useful tools, the Perspective Ruler in Clip Studio Paint. Let's start! In the previous video I worked on some objects in the room using the basic and advanced rulers. Today I'll use the perspective ruler to make the full background and remaining elements. Before inking the sketch, I will try to talk a bit about perspective theory. On the Clips to the Pain YouTube channel and site, there are a lot of tutorials that explain it in detail. I'll only explain the basics that are useful to make a good and easy scenery using the Clips to the Paint rulers. Perspective is a method to graphically represent real backgrounds and objects we are seeing with our eyes. The geometry scheme has the eye level or horizon line that divides the earth and sky. Moving our eyes, we can obtain a different perspective view which will be centered differently or have a different height. The vanishing point on the horizon line is where objects stretch into the distance. There can be more than one and they determine the depth, length, width, height and more of an object. There are two methods to create a perspective ruler. The first method is going to menu, layer, ruler frame, create perspective ruler. Clicking on it, you can choose between three different types. Checking and unchecking the create new layer, you can choose where to create the ruler. With one point perspective, I have a central perspective where all objects will be flow to the vanishing point. With two points perspective, I can create a really good intuitive perspective that gives the illustration a realistic view. I can show the depth, length and width of an object. This is perfect for simple backgrounds of a palace, a neighborhood full of houses, and specifically interior select rooms, an office, school classrooms, shops, and more. With three points perspective, I can define the height of an object with two different views. From the top to the bottom, or vice versa, depending where I put the four point. In this way, the perspective is dynamic. All points are all editable by going to Tool, Operation, Object. Moving the vanishing point and the horizon line, I can create infinite views, adapting the grid to the drawings. With the second method, I can create a customized guide or add points to an existing one, going to Tool, Ruler, Perspective Ruler. In process, I can use the following options to add a vanishing point or delete it, or delete a guide really helpful to have additional ruler lines. With fix vanishing point you can lock one or more points, so when you change the horizon line position they will be fixed.
infinitize transforming a guide to continue infinitely. This is useful for drawing cities, rooms, or objects in isometric perspective. Ok, let's start doing the sketch. Go to Tool, Ruler, Perspective Ruler and add two vanishing points creating a two points perspective. Then, go to Tool, G Pen and start to draw the defined work. Thanks to the snap that is active on the canvas, the pen follows the guide respecting the perspective structure. I can activate it with two methods. The first one is going to layer, right click on the ruler icon and uncheck show ruler. The second one is going to toolbar, check and uncheck snap to special ruler, the second icon. Finished and the ruler function is activated, drop the remaining parts like plants, plushies, character, and the stuff. Some of them were made in the previous video using the basic rulers and advanced rulers. I 
can color it with clips to the paint watercolor brushes, trying to create a fresh and aesthetic result. Finished! Thank you very much for following this tutorial until now, I hope you'll have fun with all rulers, liner, advanced and special ones, as I had. Don't hesitate to share your work with us, we are so curious to see your drawings. See you in the next video, bye!